अरे भाई चाय तो पिला दो मम्मी लेट हो रहा है सब तैयार है क्या अरे अभी राखी आई नहीं है अब हमेशा क्यों लेट हो जाती है नहीं बताइए ना प्रॉब्लम क्या है बेबी आपको तो मालूम ही हम किधर रहते हैं घर इतना पास पास है कि धूप नहीं आती है और फिर दिन में भी बिजली की कटौती रहती है तो मतलब जब करंट रहा तभी काम करना पड़ता है ना अच्छा ठीक है अपना काम करें अरे कहा जा रही हो राखी के घर में उजाला करने धड़कनों की ताल बाजे ससु का एक तरह Guys, we have a problem. Slums do not receive any sunlight during daytime and have frequent power cuts as well. Can we do something about it? Interesting. Can we use a textbook science in this? Why don't they use candles? Hey, I think I've got something. You might want to have a look. There's this NGO which goes by the name of Litter of Light. Let's contact them. They might be of some help. Dharkano ki taal baaje sasu ka ek tarah. Hello sir welcome to this Skype session we are students from the Red Society of Arun Podar school Okay so tomorrow we assemble in school in the morning and we divide ourselves into two groups one group with the NGO people goes to the slum Chalo baat le hum zindagi zara aaj yu kar le Kaho kya khayal Let's see what we've learned here We got to know about an amazing application of converging lens. Isn't that the reason why a converging lens is used in place of a simple glass on the roof? Yeah. And also Tyndall effect which we read about in class 10 physics. What exactly was the Tyndall effect? I do not remember it. The light rays got scattered from the bottle. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah. And light of the house. Yes, light of the house. But what about the chemistry of it? Well, let's keep the Tyndall effect aside. What about the bleaching powder? it keeps the water bacteria free right yeah. so does anyone know the mechanism of it oh i don't know okay so well it is because when bleaching powder which is calcium hypochlorite reacts with water it releases hypochlorite ions and hypochlorite ions are acidic and they hence kill the germs yes exactly great so we can now also look at a case study on recycling materials by estimating how much plastic waste we could reduce by initiative like this nice. that's a good idea mm. and 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 maybe a business case study too to create the operations plan on the same amazing so with one project like this we can have case studies on physics chemistry environmental and business studies that's great I wonder if such learning opportunities in community service could be tapped and we could create a system to include them into our classroom curriculum. These experiences could then be scaled up and integrated into classroom curriculum as case studies. Students could do real time problem solving. This would also help to develop essential life skills and a scientific temper in our students. Learning would become more self directed, inquiry based and real for our students. our students would become more responsible for their own learning and it would also develop the sensibilities for a more inclusive society this would help to make learning more multidimensional and richer both in terms of context and content kaho kya khayal hai